Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here with Let's Play Mysteria Realms of Lore Part 11. And I'm doing this part post commentary because I was expecting this to take several attempts, but I actually kind of breezed through this part, which was kind of cool. Um, I was half expecting this to take uh, two or three attempts, honestly, because I. It's how long it's, it took me during my practice runs. And I expected it to be kind of long because of the strategy that I use of luring these people around and getting them to move with me and then making a break for it and cutting around them. I figured that that would take forever, but this floor actually takes about three minutes. And I was surprised as shit for that. So, um, enjoy this! And hopefully you can use this as a, a guide. Should you ever play this game, it'll give you an idea of something you can do to get through this floor quickly. Because, again, I was not expecting this. So, we... This is actually the, the second attempt uh, for this section as a whole, because the first attempt, I, uh, I spilled some water on the first floor to get those treasures. And you want to get those treasures, you can't go back and get them. Well, you can, kind of. The next fight takes place on that floor, so if you really want to sacrifice one person, you can send that one person over to get those treasures, but um, the fight itself isn't difficult, but it, it can be kind of a bitch, so sacrificing one person is, yeah, it's not, not what I would recommend. So. And this part, I'm trying to calculate how many squares I would need to move to be in a safe zone. Because as you can see, his range of movement doesn't show you if he can... It, it stops at you because you interfere, you act as an obstacle. But if you move, it frees up the obstacle. So you want to make sure you're not in an adjacent space because they can still quote-unquote attack you there. Alright. This is where it gets fun, because basically you're going to have three of these guys on you. You've got that guy there, who can't... If you plan it right, he can't walk around the corner to get you. And because they're stupid and they want to take a direct line or direct line of sight and ignoring obstacles, uh, I, you can do this to get around them. And planning out where I need to go, because again, range of motion... Is, is kind of important here. Because, see, now I've kind of opened up a section where this is kind of a, a, a difficult thing. And I really should not have gone in the middle. I should have gone to one side or another. It doesn't really matter which one uh, to, to have gotten around him. I may have actually been able to have done this without suffering a hit. Which is where I the hit I took there, but I'm still able to get through, and that's that's the hard part. Once you get that past that floor, you're you're golden. The last floor actually is not a threat whatsoever. It's just a straight shot. And Celine will actually tell you, should anything happen, the keys are on the guard. Kind of egging you on of, well, you know, if my guard happens to be an idiot, you can get the keys and free your friends and fight us in an epic battle. It's, yeah, it's silly. And you get the wine, talk to the guard, and he, uh, he has a little one-man party, so to speak. Yeah, he, he thinks the wine's for him, and... Ash is... What? No, it was mine. I was going to drink it. <laughs> I was going to get my, my drink on. And Dragon Killer wine. The gulping noise that this game makes creeps me out. That just That's a disturbing noise. There is no way that that noise just... Yeah. It kind of makes me shudder. And he passes out. Apparently this wine was more like hard liquor than wine. 
Because dude, either that or dude just can't handle his alcohol to save his life. And he's asleep, and he gets little sleep icons, so if you are ever put to sleep in battle, you'll get the same little icon. So, and we free everyone, our new friends, which are actually us, and Ash is our new friend, so. Granted, you know, the two people we didn't take into battle didn't decide to, you know, mount a rescue party. They let Ash go through this ridiculously insane task. Because between the Ash and... Aletha and uh, cats. We probably could have taken out the guys on the first floor. It wouldn't have been that bad. I mean, there weren't that many of them. We could have done it. And obviously, the one guard guarding them. And Reiko and Aragon are having a, a uh, dilemma of conscience of if they're going to tell Ash about the fact that their king is dead. And I don't, I don't remember seeing any of this text talking about. It's like. Ash, that's convenient to tell you the truth. I was reluctant to kill women and children. What women and children? And now that we know they're goblins, quote-unquote, this makes no sense to me. What in the hell are they talking about? And I've played this game. I just read a lot of the, uh... A lot of the dialogue, and I don't remember seeing that anywhere. I mean, I guess it could be dialogue in the town that we missed. But I'm at a loss. As far as I know, Ash is just schizophrenic and likes to kill women and children and pretend they're they're goblins. And we skip the first floor. Thankfully, we don't have to fight those guys again. And we make it back up to the third floor where we get to fight Selene. And this is our first real boss fight because she is one of the five generals. She is considerably stronger than any anyone we fought to this point. She's not stronger than Juza, but Juza was... You were never meant to win that fight. It's just not possible. I mean, I guess if you sat in the Battle of the Forest for hours and raked in a ton of XP, it it may have been doable. But for the most part, no. You're This is your first boss fight in which they expect you to win. So, like I said, I showed you can go down and, and get those treasures should you have missed it the first time. Um, and those are quite useful treasures. I can can equip them equip them during combat, but that takes a turn. And as you can see, we've got people all around us. There's eight fodder, and then the boss. And it's it's a bit of a a rough fight this time around. My first attempt at this, I did not have a problem at all. I was able to split up into two groups and kill everyone with relative ease, but I got a bunch of criticals in those hits. So now I'm kind of... Kind of behind the curve, so to speak. And yeah, I can't do that. Move her there and have her actually do something useful. And... These guys got a lot better hits with multi-shot this time than uh, my uh, my practice run. Those guys pretty much just rape Feral. I mean, he's he's gonna take a beating before the end of this fight. But at this point, now I can use straight shot and hit both of those guys, which helps out a little bit. I don't know why I moved him. Oh yeah, I moved him to uh, avoid the archer. That's why. Not that the archer is going to do anything. It's... I and I should have moved Ash onto the left side. I've got more than enough people on the right. I've got four, uh, <laughs> as opposed to two. So going for a bunch of rain strikes because I keep running out of energy for the spinning strikes. And Mystic Strike. And I believe here we learn a new technique. Nope. I know somewhere in, in the little bit I learn a new technique with uh, Reiko. And thankfully they're going back to missing, which is great because they really don't need to be hitting me with these attacks. 
If only I could have got spinning, like a spinning slash or a ranged ability. I will be so happy when uh, Aragon learns uh, an area of effect ability. He desperately needs it. And I really should be leveling up the punch and hand-to-hand -hand attacks with Feral, but I just like his spear attacks so much more. But that's one of the things about this game, there's a huge level of, of customization that you've got to be able to deal with. And yeah, there's no way for me to, to target both of them, they're just too, too far out. But a 200 hit critical, that was, that was beast. Ah, uh, that was amazing. Here we go, new technique. It's pretty much the same as Mystic Strike, it's just a little bit stronger. Doom Strike. This is one of those techniques that outright replaces uh, an older technique. So you can switch out Doom Strike, uh, or Mystic Strike for Doom Strike, and yeah, that's, that's the point. Some attacks are meant to be used in tandem, based off of energy constraints. Other attacks just outright replace them based off of uh, ease of use. And healing Feral again, because he keeps getting beaten on. They really don't like him. But I can hit both of them with Spinning Spear, which makes my day so useful. And unfortunately, I can't hit both with Straight Shot. That would have been... That would have made my day. Alright, so now we're going to engage Selene. And Selene can be kind of a pain in the ass because she's got some really good ranged abilities. And here's her bio for those who are curious. She's got some really good area of effect abilities and she's got some status alterations, which that's the first we've really seen of that at this point. And replace Mystic Strike with Doom Strike, and it's got the same energy rating, so yeah. And I don't bother status alteration effects with her because it's just it's not going to be worth it. And Acid Spit. Which I pushed her out of the way, which I probably shouldn't have. That's that's gonna come back to bite me. I'm not sure what that is, but it's it's magic, I know. I don't remember what the name of it is. I think it's Ice Storm. But it did a world of hurt on Reiko. And I really Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna heal. <laughs> That's just the only course of action I've got there. Really wish I could have gotten Hector in on it, but Hector is going to shoot two people with an arrow. Thus proving his usefulness and getting a nice critical and learning a technique. I like Hector. Hector's a good man. It does kind of make me wonder that the Prince's mentor uh, uses a bow, but I use a sword. Kind of silly. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, and I will see you all in our next installment where we finish this up. Till then, later everyone.